The crypto boom continues and all the digital currency must be mined through server facilities. Recent studies revealing the impact that has it has had on the environment. Nicolas Rivero is a tech reporter from Quartz, a business media company. Nico, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. First of all, explain to folks who don't know what cryptocurrency is or Bitcoin. Uh, well, it's basically a kind of digital asset um, that is hoping to one day uh, essentially replace hard currency like the U.S. dollar. So to get or to play, or I shouldn't say play, but invest <laughs> with Bitcoin, you have to have it <laughs> mined, right? Like, like coal or something. Well, that's right. And mining is basically where someone uses a very energy intensive and high powered computer to solve a really hard a series of math problems. Um, and that uh, creates a, a kind of scarcity that gives Bitcoin its value. And so by using these energy intensive com kind of computer processes, that is how you wind up mining or minting new Bitcoin. And that energy intensive process could uh, really cause a problem with the electrical grid, can't it? <laughs> well, uh, the mining industry is growing really fast in the U.S. right now. Um, and we just learned uh, from a congressional investigation uh, that published some of its results on Friday uh, about the scale of Bitcoin mining that's happening in the U.S. right now. So it's already using a gigawatt of U.S. Uh, electric capacity, um, which is quite a bit. It's actually planning on uh, doubling or tripling that uh, over the next three years. In fact, Texas, during a recent heat wave, had to ask the folks to kind of shut down the mining grid for a minute so that they could, you know, use the air conditioners because it was causing a big problem, right? That's exactly right. Texas has become a, a big hub for, for Bitcoin mining. So when they had that uh, back in February, when they had the winter power outage and more recently when they've had some strain in the grid right now, they've had to pay Bitcoin miners to go offline so that there can be enough power to go around to people's homes and businesses. So this is causing a major carbon footprint, and that could cause a lot of problems for everyone here in the U.S. and possibly um, across the country or across the world. So what do we do? Should there be how do we sustain this? I should I should ask you. Well, uh, I'll say that uh, it is certainly not great for U.S. efforts to uh, decarbonize its uh, energy grid. So if the idea is that we want to build a bunch of wind and solar panels uh, right now to be able to shut down coal plants and coal fire, uh, natural gas fired power plants, it doesn't help if you have to divert some of that renewable power to fueling new Bitcoin mining rigs that are being built right now. Um, but that is the case. I mean, it is a free market. There isn't a way to stop kind of companies from doing this. Um, but it's the kind of thing where this expansion of energy demand will make it uh, more difficult or slow us down in our efforts to transition away from fossil fuels. So I guess the question is cryptocurrency, power grid. I mean, you know, who's going to win out and how do we adjust to this? <laughs> well, you know, uh, one thing we should note is like uh, Bitcoin mining is still a very small percentage of the over, uh, overall U.S. energy consumption. You know, it's less than 1% of, of U.S. Uh, electricity consumption. And a lot of these Bitcoin mining companies point out that uh, they use less power, for instance, than uh, air conditioners do across the country. Of course, I think that you could uh, have a debate about which is more useful for people, whether you want to have our kind of limited supply of power going towards something like air conditioning, or whether you want it to go towards um, these kind of disruptive digital currencies, which some people believe are going to be a very transformative and helpful thing for our financial system in the long term. I won't opine on that, but uh, <laughs> open for debate. Let's just all go green. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> all right. Thank you, Nico. Appreciate it. Thank you.